Okay. Hi, morning. We're now at Bike Economy Day 2018, and with us we have Gay Green. And um, with the wonderful stuff in front of us, let's have them start um, and tell us what this is all about. Okay, please introduce us. Yeah, um, good morning. Uh, my name is Adrian from Green Green. Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Turn, Turn Toy Lock from Green Green. Would you like to tell us what you do? Uh, I can't wait. <laughs> Wonderful stuff from the trees to you've got this Japanese clocks, clocks, and clocks. Um, yeah, please do tell us. Yeah, um, basically, Gateway is a biotech company who actually plant trees. We plant trees in Malaysia and in short form, we create forests. We, what we are trying to do is we want to create forests. That's the And in planting trees. Uh, is it sounds simple, but indeed we have not done well in the past thirty years. Yeah, we, because yeah. the rate mm. that people are just cutting yeah, there trees. Are, there are a few problems. Number one is people plant trees; they do not maintain, they do not preserve it, they do not keep it. Secondly, uh, the problem we face is we plant the wrong species. Illegal loggers actually illegal activities. Uh, happens every day and yet there is no initiative from the from the, the either the government or private sector to, to replant re, restore our native forest so uh, in order to solve planting tree itself is not enough what we need to do is we have to uh, dig deeper and solve the problem by supplying wood to the market you know, in a way, when you plant a tree, people will just go to the forest and keep continuing and chop the native tree. And we can't solve the problem. So, uh, in order to be more effective to, 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 um, to solve this issue in the long term, is we are going to plant a type of trees whereby you can create wood. I mean, you can supply wood and then you can meet the demand. You know, but at the same time, the species have to be very strong, whereby it can generate itself. The trees we have, this one, it will grow to a certain size. This is the world fastest tree called Polonia. And uh, our own cloning species is Rivotropic Polonia. Sorry, did you see uh, the world's fastest tree? The uh, world's fastest. fastest growing tree. Yeah, yeah. Oh. This one you can get from uh, Google, you can Google it. Uh, the, the tree name is called Paronia. Of course, Paronia uh, in worldwide, there are many, many countries already uh, planted this tree as a, a reused timber uh, purpose. Okay? Uh, but in Malaysia, uh, as we know that, uh, there are, of course, there are some people try before uh, in, in our soil or land. Uh, but some feedback to us is failed uh, or cannot grow well. Uh, this tree actually. This bit, around the world there are few species and uh, we are able to go around the world talk to a lot of uh, experts uh, about Paronia we bring back the tissue because we are a well based company we have a good tissue culture lab uh, finally uh, start from last three years we try a lot of matter and try a lot of species and we, 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 we try to climatize this tree finally we have uh, an answer uh, this is called Rheumatropic Paronia it's grow well uh, in Malaysia soil and climate size like this uh, actually is just uh, 22 to 24 months uh, we are able to grow this tree now we have around 150 acre uh, in Palestine, Malaysia uh, for more uh, in the area uh, this is the size you can zoom in the, no? 23 months uh, the uh, height is around 30 feet to 40 feet sometimes. Uh, we have few farms uh, at Lembao, Thai uh, Lembao and Salamo. Uh, we are going to very good news. Is just as yesterday confirmed, we are going to start our Salawak uh, plantation business. Uh, and we have a partner there, we started with 100 acres first. Congratulations on uh, that, you're okay. expanding. Yeah. Yes, uh, of course, a uh, neighbor country counterpart like Indonesia, even from Myanmar, they come to see us as well so we hope we can you know, expand uh, our our philosophy to that country where they are facing uh, this uh, 
deforestation and uh, issue also of various diseases. Uh, so we have, uh, we hope Malaysia can more Malaysia can join us uh, or put in some effort. Uh, of course, in the same time, we can protect uh, to chopping down native, native forest. We encourage, uh, no, no matter how it is, no, I mean, in the Western world, they have practiced for 100 years ago. You have to plant your own material, then you use back your material, what you plant. This is called recycle. Uh, this is what we are doing up now. Uh, so we hope all Malaysians can join us uh, to put in this effort. And frankly speaking, the market value of this wood is very attractive as well. You can Google it, uh, Baronia, Pricey, whatever, you know, in Google, Alibaba, eBay, you can find the answer uh, by yourself. Uh, so this is good. Uh, we, feel, we see it's a new industry in Malaysia. So we hope this, uh, with the biotech cooperation help, we can go in faster. Uh, thank you. Just going back into um, this plant, because you said that it's the fastest growing, and then we have this. Uh, this is how many months again? Uh, this is from our farm. How long did it take for it to reach? You can see a uh, handsome face. <laughs> and three months. Uh, okay, I think. In comparison to another tree, um, how long does it take for it to grow this? Uh, hardly to compare with uh, other species. Maybe the yellow is the larger tree. The what? Malaysia uh, now more people uh, for the plant for the purpose of timber use. Tree like rubber, acacia. Uh, they are similar growing age la. Acacia also uh, eight years, maybe nine years, but they can go for fifteen years la. Uh, but this tree from from the record, the practice all around the world, they can tell you six to seven years is a uh, suitable sizes can be chopped. Uh, we have more commercial value uh, in, in other words. Of course, you can go for 10 years. The, the, the di diameter is bigger, you know, the wood is more solid. Maybe the value is higher. This is about uh, timber uh, pricing, uh, how to fix timber pricing. I see. I see. Uh, so, uh, we, besides like I said, no, we encourage that people can kind of go into fried paronia. Of course, uh, the, uh, the other hard hardest wood like chati, Mahakani, they want to be already be practiced in Malaysia, but unfortunately, not, not many day people, which is very commercial way. People say that they have to pay for 15 to 20 years. Yeah, this is quite something. And then, like I said, the rate of um, uh, people chopping trees is just crazy because it's too fast. You don't consider that it takes several years to grow one tree and they're chopping it in a couple of seconds or minutes, you know? Yeah, uh, when we talk about <coughs> chopping a tree, is not we, we, we see when one tree has been chopped yeah. in actual fact it kill off 30 to 50 trees you understand the uh, the the okay, sure. behind yeah, perhaps like to explain no the trees of uh, 300 to 500 years old trees mm -hmm. in a jungle it can have this size in diameter yes it can grow up to maybe 30 meters, 40 meters high. Yeah. Remember, when you chop this tree, the tree will go down. Uh, Along okay. the way, we have small trees growing up. The domino in, effect of it. And then they, when you pull the, the, the log out yeah. from the jungle, more destruction. More will be killed. I understand. This yeah. is a serious part of it. So, somehow we have to find a way to stop. So, apart from uh, creating um, forests, it's about because planting tree is about carbon storage, you know, carbon capture and carbon sequestration. And now uh, we this is our application whereby is make of this is charcoal. Charcoal. Ah, we have we have a better technology to create biochar. Biochar made of polonia wood. And it feel very light. Yes it is. You know, biochar is different type of uh, charcoal. You know, it's for filtration, I mean for air filtration. And uh, you remember when we buy durians, you know, you chuckle uh, yes. you know, in the car. <laughs> yeah. uh, so it has that kind of effects. I see. And um, biochar uh, requires higher temperature, which is about 900 degrees. Uh, yeah. Compared to? Yes. Compared to normal chuckle, which is about 300 degrees. That's pretty high. Uh, so uh, it's an effort for global warming, actually. You know? yeah. So CO2. So uh, to, to reduce the problem for me is uh, one of the efforts. Oh, we, we have a program called One Million Trees uh, programs whereby we encourage each, each and every relation 
or even anyone in the world joins our effort to plant trees? Well, I think it's a tremendous effort. I think for the environment, I think everybody should be aware of and join. So, how could you tell us more about this? Um, can they find you online, or how do they reach you? Yeah, they can uh, reach us in our website uh, www.gingreen.com.my, and uh, you can see uh, a lot of activities in our website, and then you can follow uh, every day, and you can see the growth of our trees from day one until now. You know. Then they, they, they will see, uh, many actually feel surprising to see such a growth. You see, if like this is a thick or kochati, yeah. it requires about 15 to 20 years to reach this size. And yours is uh, yeah, about we went. half, half the This is uh, one third or I think it's about 20% is the growth in terms of growth rate. You know, in a heart like that, uh, 18 inches in diame diameter, we only need 6 years like that. Six years, whereby uh, the normal forestry we need about 50 to 80 years. So, um, you might as well we plant these yes, trees and then uh, it's a way of education. We, we, are, we are spending some efforts to educate people to understand the, the applications of this type of light wood. I think Malaysia is something light to wood. know about this, this, um, this, uh, sorry, <laughs> this method that you're using to, to grow trees um, because this is, I don't think there's other companies or organizations in Malaysia that's doing what you do. We, yeah, we are the first company, we are not, a, definitely we are not the first company who plant Polonia. There are someone actually planted Polonia many years ago. Even we met the forestry, Pengarok uh, forestry, he, he claimed that he actually planted many years ago, but he failed. And uh, initially, this this plant is uh, planted in temperate culture, a uh, temperate climate country, like southern part of China, in uh, America, in uh, southern part of Europe, in Japan. It grew quite well there. But in uh, in this uh, zone, Malaysia and Indonesia, because of our hot weather, these three need to climatize. It needs some time to be custom to our weather, and we have uh, just like what. Uh, my partner say just now we have many attempts failed and eventually we create our own cloning and we managed to plant it and the first in Malaysia and our trees is the largest tree in Malaysia. I think it's wonderful. Or even in Southeast Asia. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah. Uh, definitely something that the world, uh, Malaysia and the world needs to know about. Um, like, uh, like you mentioned before, um, you're available on social media. I'm sure after this is going to generate a lot of attention. And, so all your contact information is yes. on Facebook yes. and what about Instagram? Are you on Instagram? <laughs> Instagram not yet. So <laughs> we are we are focusing on planting green. <laughs> okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Actually, you just Google it, uh, yeah. Gain Green. Even though you Google Paronia, you yeah. can find our company. Okay, uh, that's great. Uh, of course, in Facebook as well. And that's this Paronia. Yes, yes. Uh, and of course, uh, we are welcome. Is uh, those people interested to know more can contact us yeah. even though we can organize a farm visit a plantation visit uh, we have all every weekend most of the weekend you know, we are visited by many many people you know, they want to know more about this uh, business opportunity or this plant uh, we are welcome anyway. okay that's great that's great so for all our viewers I hope you got all that information and um, Gain Green is definitely the way to go. Uh, their efforts are so tremendous and trying to, this is for, they're going towards saving the environment, saving the planet and you know, trees. We need trees for the future and you have a... Can I add uh, one thing is... We have a uh, wonderful picture here. Yeah, we have a wonderful, we have actually these wonderful trees. Uh, Polonia has the largest leaf on earth. Can you see that? Can you see that? Yeah, you can. The same leaf. The same leaf. Oh, from this also to this. Yeah. You see, this yeah. is our, this is my tree. Oh, it's really huge. This is only five months old tree, and you see the leaf. Yeah. You can imagine how much CO two actually absorbs. Mm. You know, the bigger the leaf. Yes, yes. It requires, you know. Yeah. Uh, more CO two. And this is five months. Yeah, this That's is gigantic. five months. Gigantic and five months. And probably we are going to register the Malaysia largest. Leaf. Oh, the biggest leaf into uh, our in uh, pro pro I believe that book of record. <laughs> yeah, yeah. book of records. Yeah. <laughs> Very oh, congratulations! Yeah. Yeah. Is that just only one tree, or do you have a lot? That All the trees are the same. Oh. 
Wow. So, and we can see this at your farm? Uh, yeah, you can come to our farm. We have a new tree. Uh, you have, you're able to have a chance to touch up this kind of big leaf. I see. Okay. okay. That's so great. So great. So, they have been sharing, Game Queen has been sharing a lot with us. And um, I think it's only about time that you guys make the move and, you know, either check out their Facebook or their website and get in touch with these wonderful guys here. Um, once again, um, is there any other messages that you'd like to say to our viewers on Facebook? Facebook? We hope. Uh, yeah, uh, anything you can leave in the ma message in the Facebook. Of course, uh, if you really want to know more, uh, contact us. So we bring you to the farm. Let you feel yourself, look at yourself, touch yourself, touch yourself by yourself. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, this is the word keyword gain green. Okay, gain green. So it's gain green. Uh, this is a keyword. Uh, it's a short form for our company. Uh, then you're able to assess us. Thank you. Thank you so much. So once again, for all you tree huggers, tree lovers, environmentalists, um, anything, if you're for saving the planet and going green, Game Green is the best people to contact. Learn about their Polynesia, correct? Polynesia plant. And yes, um, for now, I think this will be it. And uh, I've given you all the information to contact them. Thank you for joining us on BioChat. This is BioChat session at Bioeconomy Day 2018. Thank you very much.